The front end of any Ernst store is the first thing our customers see on their way in, and the last thing they see on their way out. For the average Ernst customer, what happens at the front end is a major influence on their entire shopping experience. The uh, proper management of the front end of the store actually controls the entire operation. Uh, from greeting the customer coming in the store to making sure the customer is well taken care of before they leave. When the customer goes through the line, uh, that determines their experience that they'll remember. And it can make a good, a good experience for them. If you give good customer service, the rest of the aspects of the operational running of a store fall in the line. I mean, if you're giving good customer service, loss prevention security falls in the line. If you're giving good customer service, sales seem to fall in the line. If you're giving good customer service, uh, all the aspects of our business come together under that realm because really uh, that's what it's all about. It. That's why it's so important for us to manage the front ends of our stores effectively. In this program, we're going to review the basics of front end management and share some ideas you can use in your own front end. How our customers perceive Ernst is the sum total of the impressions they form in our stores, how they're treated, the merchandise they find there, and how the store looks. First impressions are the most important that you have to the customer when they walk into the store. You want it to always look clean, sharp, and uh, presentable when, you, uh, when they come in. Well, store, of course, store presentation is very important because as a customer walks in, the uh, first thing they see is the front end of the store. Uh, it's important to have your key end caps merchandise across the front, uh, some of your leader advertised items prominently placed, and to keep them neat and kept up too, not picked over. Well, it's a presentation area. It, it has, it gives a, it's an opportunity for us to say something to the customer. We're trying to tell him that he made a good choice and where to shop. He's trying to t we're trying to communicate to him that he can have confidence in us, our ability to serve him, and the merchandise that we're trying to sell. Creating that favorable first impression and the confidence that goes with it starts well before the store opens for business. It's important for the staff members opening the store to have a daily routine with clear responsibilities for which they're accountable. Well, it's very important that the store is prepared before opening in the morning. People that come in have pre-assigned job tasks that they understand. Examples would be the cashier that comes in prior to opening, completely cleans and stocks all the registers and register areas and prepares them for the morning. That the marking and receiving staff people come in and sweep the floor, empty all the garbage, check the aisles for obstructions, remove everything and then walk around and zone defense all the end displays, particularly the front end of the store. Everybody has uh, their jobs that they perform at the front check stands and that they take care of daily. And uh, it's not just done once a day, it's done several times. Uh, if the carts back up, if somebody runs out of something, it has to be taken care of immediately. It has to be done. The key to a successful front end is strong management. A strong presence in the front of the store is, is important to both the customer and to the crew. Uh, when you walk into the store, whether you're an employee or whether you're a customer, you actually should be able to feel the fact that there's somebody in charge of the store, there's somebody running it. The customer needs to know this, he needs to know that the store is being run and it's being run well. The, customer, the employee needs to know that. They have to have a central location to come to with their concerns or problems. There needs to be very strong control in the front for the fact that this is where we operate the entire store. This is where the entire store gets run from. The flow is here, the pace of the business is here, uh, the customers are here. It's just vitally important that we have some very strong controls in place here or somebody that is in place here at all times and is very obvious. Providing that strong control requires that the manager on duty really take charge of the entire floor. Well, coordinators are sometimes the only manager on duty. And it's very important that they have a general awareness and be able to provide customer assistance to all areas of the store. They also have to develop an overall operational awareness in terms of managing the store. Our phone calls being answered, our customers being waited on, our break schedules being maintained as their proper flow through the front end of the store. And they have to learn to control the entire operation, which is a big step from coming from one department area. Most of the time, managing the front end is a matter of keeping things moving, seeing that the phone calls get answered, that customers are taken care of, 
and that a sufficient number of check stands are open. Three or more, call for more, is the principal rule. And everybody in the, ca everybody in the store checks if necessary. Cross training uh, throughout the store is very important, particularly when it comes to cashiering. Uh, everybody in the store should be able to cashier so you can call up anyone from the floor or anybody from the marketing staff and bring them to the front of the store once we have more than two or three people in line. That's one area that once a customer has come to the store made their purchases, all they want to do is pay for them and get out. And that's been a source of agitation amongst a lot of customers is having to wait in line. Customers naturally gravitate to the customer service booth with their questions and problems. So it's important to staff it with someone who's particularly good at working with people, especially at slow periods when overall staffing levels are low. Somebody that makes customers laugh, feel comfortable, uh, they have to be a people person. You've got to keep customers happy. There's a lot of, lot of lack of help on the floor, so when they come up front, you need them to get them to smile and uh, take the edge off a little bit. The customer service booth is especially important during busy periods due to the increased traffic but that extra traffic makes it essential for the manager on duty to get out of the customer service booth and out between the check stands and the doors. He's trapped in the booth. Uh, very often, it gets rather busy here with the returns, customers' questions, uh, employees coming up for answers, and that person can actually be trapped, and he can't leave when he needs to. If something comes up, if he sees a situation developing he might want to be in on, he can't leave. If he's, if he's not necessarily tied to that booth, if, he's has, if it's staffed well enough that he can get out and move around, he can get to those situations or see that problem customer or help that employee out or just check on things around the store. He can cruise back and forth across the front, really be involved and aware with the business. During the peak business times, so it's necessary to have a manager or a system manager right in the check stand area to, number one, assist the customer service coordinator when the booth becomes backed up to help keep the flow going during peak times, it's impossible for the customer service corner to leave the booth to make change and make register pickups. Also, the manager, assistant manager up front is able to greet the customers as they're coming in and help direct them to the items they're looking for and also greet them when they're leaving. From that front end position, that position in between the out exterior door and the cash terminals, if you position yourself there, you can talk to your customer and your customers feel that personal level that you don't get in a lot of stores today and, and that's that's really a primary factor Dan. the the side benefit of that is if there's a there's no theft going to take place while someone's up front managing their store because you're looking at uh, everything that's going on if you have a uh, certain element of that all of a sudden gets very busy off in the paint department you can see right at it and if you need to you can say uh, Bill or Mary, would you please call somebody or call Jerry out of the back room and get some help over there and paint. So now you're managing uh, even better customer service and getting extra help to where you need to have that help. Uh, all stores should have a, a, a security paging system in place whereby a customer service effort is directed to a particular zone in the store so that uh, we're affecting good customer service to those people we think may pose a potential security problem. You know, after a while in the business, you can kind of see a type of person that needs to be watched. And they're kind of obvious. Uh, we like to give them exceptionally good contact or customer service. And uh, that helps a lot. They know that, they've, that they're spotted more or less. They're, they're not going to stay around. The, the key to preventing external loss is, is really good customer service. Uh, if in doubt, the best approach is to drown somebody with good customer service. Because the last thing that a shoplifter wants to hear is, can I help you? The cashiers play a key role in preventing losses at the front end. If you've only got one check stand open during non-peak hours, be sure it's the one with the best view of the front doors. Besides watching who's coming and going, cashiers should be alert for other ways to cut our losses at the check stands. We want to make sure that our cashiers up at the front end are checking items that could possibly contain other items. Uh, mailboxes is a good example, toolboxes, garbage can. It's, it's, it's not uh, unusual for a shoplifter to take smaller items, put them into items that could contain larger items. Uh, if the cashier is asleep at the front register, the person, of course, is getting a very good deal on the way out the door. Uh, we've instituted the security tape program, and we should be applying that security tape to identify large, unbaggable merchandise as being sold. 
And finally, one important thing that we should do is make sure that we're calling for price checks uh, when we're in doubt as to price. Uh, if it's not marked or, you, if, or if, uh, if a cashier is unsure as to the price, they should be calling for uh, a price check on that item. You can manage your pricing. You can see if the, if, if the cashier is trying to find a price on this. You've got that. And you say, gee, make a note and get that taken care of right away because the swing line staple gun does not have a price ticket on it. Or if you can tell, the, stop the guessing on pricing. So you get a management on your gross side that takes place there. There's a, a tremendous amount of things you can do in managing the store from that point of action, right there where the sale takes place. If you want to do the best job for yourself and for the company, then managing from up there, you should be bright and alert and doing those things that we've talked about on this tape so that we, in, in the process, enhance the sales of this company. I mean, that's what it's here, that's what it's all about. And uh, front-end management should be something that's an absolute part of our system.